coming to you today from Milan Tobacconist in Roanoke, Virginia. Today we'll be reviewing the Trinidad Lost Blends. This is a torpedo cigar. It has a pretty firm pack, tight but visible seams. Some veins, nothing, nothing too big to ride home about. Got a good weight to it. Wrapper feels slightly waxy, like a slightly polished leather. Some nice uh, sweet tobacco notes on the nose. foot. Offers a little bit of bread dough. Something else in there. My sinuses still aren't quite up to snuff. Had a bit of an infection going on in there a while back. Something else going on in there, I'm not sure. All right. Now the wrapper leaf is a Java Island shade grown. The binder is Dominican Olor and the filler, the fillers are Dominican Olor, Dominican Piloto, and U.S. Connecticut uh, Broadleaf. Alright, get her cut up. bit snug on the pre-light draw. That may open up when I light it. If not, I can always cut a little bit more off. Maybe that's the, the beauty of a torpedo. If you didn't get quite enough cut off for the airflow, you can always cut a little bit more off, but sometimes it's not the case. It doesn't matter how much you cut. Sometimes it's just a tight pack or just the construction methods uh, makes for a tight draw. We just have to see what happens once we light it. Definitely some leather on the pre-light draw. A little bit of cedar. I certainly wouldn't want to cut any more off this, as you can see. It's already starting to come undone there. I have to, I have to really nurse it so it doesn't unravel on me now. Some grains in there. Real good, real good pre light. Using my Zycar double torch flame lighter. Sputtering. I wonder if I need to do a refill yet. There went. I have to do a refill, but I think I got enough to get it lit. Very spicy right off the bat. Definitely very spicy. And there's also a. I've had this. I've had this flavor with many, many cigars. I'm not sure how to describe it. There's something there that I found nowhere else. All right, we'll see what happens. We'll uh, continue on. I'll come back somewhere in the first third. See you in a bit.
Here we are, just about 20 minutes in. The burn is a little bit wavy, not too bad. The cigar is heating up nicely, it's starting to soften up a bit. The draw is still a little bit tight, not too bad. Go ahead and tap off this inch and a half ash. Broke off a nice cone shape. Draws maybe a little tighter than I typically like. Smoke is creamy and smooth. Coats the entire palate. Peppery on the retro hail. Kind of spicy. There's a bit of metallic mineral in there. a coffee note, coffee bean, coffee bean note. There's a lingering aftertaste of maybe like a bitter coffee. Maybe that's what I'm tasting. Medium body and flavor. I'm not picking up any leather or anything like that that I had picked up on the pre-light draw. Mostly just uh, peppery, a little bit spicy, and that coffee bean note, along with some subtle uh, metallic minerals. So I'll continue on. I'll come back in a second, third, see you in a bit. Here we are about 35 minutes in. Ash is starting to tilt a bit. Starting to get a little light and flaky. I'll tap that off. All right. Good smoke output. Very peppery on the rear of the palate. Not a whole lot of changes going on. Kind of one dimensional. So is that coffee note? Metallic minerals are gone. There's still a mineral note there, but they're not metallic anymore. Very subtle. Short on the finish. Definitely spicy on the rear of the palate. All right, I'll continue on. I'll come back somewhere in the final third. See you in a bit. Here we are in the final third of the Trinidad Lost Blend. Still very spicy. There's a little bit of that coffee note in there still. Creamy smoke. Very spicy on the retro oil. Smoke's starting to heat up quite a bit. This car is becoming quite soft. Not mushy, just definitely softening up. Not a whole lot else. 
else going on. It's been pretty much the same thing throughout. So a uh, one dimensional cigar. Retails for about $10. I'll continue on. I'll come back uh, at the nub. See you in a bit. Here we are in the nub. Smoke's starting to thin out a little bit. To take a two, three draws in a row to get a good dose of smoke. Not a whole lot of changes. Pretty much the, the same cigar throughout. One dimensional. Creamy smoke. On this review here saying that the Trinidad Lost Blend retailing for about $10 at your local tobacconist. Good value. Um, maybe not for me. Uh, for $10 I would prefer something that had uh, a little more dimension and character and depth and um, a wider flavor profile would have been nice for me. But if you like uh, something that's for the most part just a spicy and a little bit of creaminess in there with some very subtle hints of uh, minerals and uh, uh, the coffee bean note then yeah if that's what you like this would be a good cigar for you construction's been fine haven't had any issues with it unraveling or any burn issues really as you can see the burn's pretty straight it did get a little bit wavy early on but it self-corrected i haven't had to do any kind of touch-ups or anything um, I'm pleased with the construction. I'm pleased with the overall smoking experience of this cigar. Just uh, maybe not my flavor profile. An enjoyable cigar. But um, for me, not something I look for. So I thank you for once again watching Scorpion Cigar Reviews. I'll catch you next time.